Hey guys, Darko Cyclone FPV, and I just got done doing a uh, video on setting up your um, X90 Plus 2019 edition with a, doing the uh, um, uh, firmware updates on it using OpenTX, then doing an R9M module and uh, using an R9MM receiver, and all of those being, you did not have to have access firmware for that, and that was a big misconception people had, and I guess there are some stores that are telling them that, and that's not exactly true, uh, but you know, it's, 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 it's fair, the mistakes are made, so I mean, it's no, no harm, no foul, but I wanted to put that together because a customer of mine ordered a new uh, quad, he actually ordered this HDLRC, and he wanted to, and he had purchased an X9D Plus 2019 edition, uh, and was asking me, you know, if you had to always go to access protocol, you had to buy new stuff, I said, no, no, no. So anyways, we did that video for him and now we're gonna actually set it up on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a split, uh, this picture in picture again. And now I'm just gonna show you the install process for that uh, um, uh, R9MM and the configuration of it. And this is gonna be, uh, let me see, For this is for the 6S version, the Sector 5 uh, V2 6S. And uh, I've got to, I told him I'd get this done today for him. And so um, we're gonna go ahead and knock this out. Okay, so we're open this up. <clears throat> and since this is a, uh, a PNP version, we've got to put a receiver in. So I'm not going to do very much in here except add the receiver, connect it to Betaflight, make sure we're good. Put up my transmitter to it, make sure it works. So there we go. And that's the first thing right here. Let me zoom out just a little bit, right? Okay, just like that, right? So, all right, I've got the receiver here. I'm going to show you guys how to do all this. And I'm going to go ahead and turn everything on so we can get good to go here. And let me get this USB cable out of the way because it's sitting right on top of my soldering iron and that won't make for a very good combination. All right. Let me find a spot to hang this up. Put that right there. Ah, crap. I didn't work. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, yeah. It's like Christmas lights. Maybe I'll do it like this. It'll be easier. Gotta be easier, it's ridiculous. All right, let's get a rubber band. Okay, let's try a different one. There you go, it's right there, perfect. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and take off the top plate. And this is the brand new series we just got in with the new F7 dual gyro board from HGLRC. Now obviously, you know Cyclone FPV, we make our own frames here by hand. I mean, we do everything in shop. Nothing is, uh, we don't make a design and then send it out. I make it all by hand here. However, um, you know, there is a, there is a, there is no love lost. Uh, if somebody, you know, this gentleman asked me and I said, look, for what you're looking for and the price tag, I think it's best to go this route. And I, I do not take any offense to it. I think it's great. I mean, there's a million different options. I'm just glad that he came to us to provide him one of them. Um, and so it's an honor and I appreciate the business, that's for sure. Okay, so what HLRC has done, and it's pretty cool actually, so they automatically send it to you with the wire soldered, right? The only problem is this connection is not gonna fit for us, but that's not a big deal at all. Um, so what I wanna do is I'm just gonna kinda twist this up a little bit, make sure that the solder looks good here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna need my blind man goggles here real quick. I'm gonna try to look at this without getting in the way of everything. All right, so yeah, you guys should be able to see. Um, so we've got everything here that we need, right? Um, the only thing is, is if I wanted to put telemetry on this. Okay, so now this is the R9MM, so I need to go ahead and prep this up. But on the R9MM, uh, we can use uh, the addition of the port on the bottom to connect to any, um, any of the channels here for our stuff. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna go ahead and tin this up, get it going. So bear with me a second, guys, let's tin this up. We just used our flux pin on there and again everything you see me using here including the soldering iron and everything all this stuff is available on our website so if you need any soldering irons or you need any solder or you need any flux pins or you need any flux paste or you need any, anything i've got it all now i'm just going to go ahead and turn this up real quick all right so there you go all right so we're done that's tinned up if you can see that okay and now the way this wiring is done is we've got ground in the center okay and then we've got um, s plus on the top You've got S port and then you've got another S port here, okay? Um, so what we wanna do though, is uh, we wanna go ahead and get this configured so that we can get this thing running. Cutters. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be perfect. Let's go ahead and strip this wire and then we'll tin it. One. 
two, three. Okay, I cut them a little long because I know I'm gonna end up cutting them down, but I wanna be able to get enough of a grip to tin them. I can never get this stupid thing open, so bear with me a second. And again, this is our um, flux paste which we also sell, so if you need me, just let me know. Okay, under tools, we have a soldering supplies, I believe, area on our website, and then from there you can get all of this, okay? So let me go ahead and do this, go ahead and do this, and then what we're gonna do is tune these up. Make sure to keep it away from the board because you will start seeing these little comet-looking pieces, these little flyaways of solder. I need to give it a little bit of prop up here so I can get to it. So I'm just gonna prop it up like that. And we're gonna tune these up real quick. One. And three, okay. Now we can cut the excess wire off. We don't need that much, so let's just cut about that. And make sure that when you cut it, you know what, I'm throwing these out. Somebody has, I'll get my other cutters. Uh, if I can find them, where the hell do they go? Okay, even these we sell on our site too, so if you need any cutters, Come get them from us. Okay, and then let's cut the excess on this one. There we go. Okay, so now I'll move this out of the way and we're gonna go ahead and tin this up. Okay. No, not tin it up, we're actually we're already tin. Now we're just gonna connect it. Make sure you got a clean tip there on your soldering iron. You see how that one's nice and silver there, okay? This rusted crap and these dull ones, please solder properly. Um, it's important. One, two, and three. Excellent. Okay. Now, as I was saying before. We want to take, if we want to get telemetry out of this, now we could run an F port. I'm going to do it on the next build for the same gentleman. He's got another drone that's here actually it needs to be fixed. So I'm going to be doing that for him. So I'll show you that in the video. But if we want to be able to um, run a, get our telemetry, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this white wire. It's not being used for anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and get that one, tin it up real quick. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Okay. Now remember, this is an R9MM and not a mini, but uh, you could do it in either one. If you don't know how to do it on the mini, I'll show you. Um, there are some limitations depending on the board you have, but there are workarounds, and we've already put videos out on that, but if you have any questions about it, just let me know. All right. All right, so that's tinned up. Let me go ahead and make sure I can get this the right size. So. Okay. because I didn't like the way that sat. Let's try that one more time. Okay, that's gonna be fine. Yep, good. So now that that's done, I still need to solder it to the board obviously, but I'm gonna first finish this part. So what I wanna do now, and I'm gonna just wanna head here, but Something. I don't know where I put it, so let me find it real quick. Um, but let's look at the board here too. So we're going to be looking for a TX, right? Because we want the board to send us our telemetry. So if we want to look here at this board, we can see here um, that, uh, let's see. Sorry, is my head there? There we go. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to see what options I have here. It'll still render me uh, with some of the features that I want for this. Um, so I will take a, 
Uh, I think it's over here. Tell you what, let me see. Let me plug this into beta flat real quick. Let's see how I want to configure this first before I tie up a specific TX. Or, uh. Okay, got my regular glasses on now so it don't look so goofy, and I'll show you my screen that I'm looking at. There we go. Open beta flat real quick. Let's connect. So I'm going to go ahead, and I think I should be okay. Um, got our smart audio configured. I guess I could use TX6 if I wanted, or TX1. I'm going to use TX6, so let's go ahead and find that real quick. And TX6 is going to be over here somewhere, I believe. Uh, hold on, where was I looking at it? Nope, it's right there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tin up TX6. Okay, so let's do that. Ooh, that's a lot of flux. Hold on, my bad. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to tin it and just make sure that you don't get anything on the board. So move it away. I'm going to grab a piece of solder I have over here and just tin this up. Okay, wire is tinned. Good. And then let me tin up the TX6. Uh, right there. Let me clean the tip of this off here. Come here. There we go. Cut the excess off this wire because that's way too long. Just like that. Put it down the TX6. Right here. There we go. And that should be it. Get these off. Okay, and now should be able to. And so the question then comes in, um, I have seen this mounted a couple different ways, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do it the way I saw it earlier. And that is gonna be that I'm going to, oh, let's see, I know I had something here. Where the hell did it go? I had a heat shrink here and I can't find it. So I'll just pull another one, I guess. I hate when I lose that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna cut a small piece of heat shrink here. Right, okay, and um, oh, I didn't realize that you guys are having to look at it like that. I apologize. Okay, so we put our TX6 right there, right? Um, so I'm just going to cut off this heat shrink here. Put that away. I apologize for that, but it was right here, guys, in case you didn't see it. Okay, so if you want to zoom in a little bit, that's, uh, that's TX6, and that's where I put the telemetry. Okay, and then on the receiver, um, it's wired uh, like that. Okay, for the R9 FM. Okay. Good, so now I'll zoom out and we'll finish this project up real quick. Then we'll get the radio, test it, and make sure everything's good. <clears throat> okay, let's put that here. The only thing that bothers me about putting it like this is that when the gentleman gets it, he's going to have to take this apart to bind it. So I may mount it to the top, actually, for the time being. I don't know. We're going to see. But right now, I'm just going to heat shrink this and make sure that we protect this unit properly. Excellent. Now I have, in the last video I just did, this was bound to my radio. So um, when I go to test it out, it's gonna actually already be bound. You know what, I am gonna mount it underneath and then just have him get to it to bind it. I think he'll be just fine with that. So let me go ahead and um, open this up. 
I mean, really, it should be pretty simple. All we're going to do is basically just, uh, um, you know, unscrew the VTX, I guess. And uh, you can get to it that way. And I think, nah, it won't be able to work the other way. I do not. I do not like that print job from HLRC, but hey, that's all right. Everybody, I think, can print their own, I guess. So let's see. Almost done. It's terrible. That thing just doesn't want to fit. Yeah. Tell you what, um, for the sake of this, I think what I'll do then, because I want it to remain on top here actually, so he doesn't have to take out the VTX, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down from here, and I think what I will do is just, because it's not fitting through those tubes properly, I'm afraid that thing's gonna snap. I mean, I don't like this, uh, the, the print quality on this uh, is not that great. I would definitely encourage you guys to uh, print your own. Um, let me just go ahead and do this though, this is gonna be the best best bet here just to make sure that everything's safe and secure so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here I think that one tube is blocked but we'll see I mean let me just put this let me see how far I can go with this this is gonna be Right. Who's that? Oh, sorry, I thought somebody was trying to get my attention. Route. Change of plans. So I'm going to use this color. I think I'm going to make this look pretty cool. If I've got the. Yep, I do. I'm going to go this way, this route. I think this is going to come out looking pretty neat actually. So let me just do that. Make sure that this sits kind of where it needs to right there.
Okay, so there's that. That will hold nicely. What we'll I do is bring the excess in here. Okay. Just like that. And we will make this to where it can easily be mounted to the top. Like this on this board. Just right here. All the customer has to do is just turn it over and you can access it, right? So let's go ahead and get our glue gun turned on and we can get this taped or glued down and get it done. It's gonna be just a minute for that. So let me go ahead and put some double-sided tape on here. Here. We'll still go back and put the sides with glue, but while the glue gun is heating up, I'm going to get started on cleaning these, and then these wires will be tucked away, so I'm not worried about these right now. That'll be easy to do. And then we will go. So now, I guess the main thing is let's just make sure everything works. When we get some good, let's make sure that we get some good uh, response from Beta Flight. Okay, I am gonna disconnect actually. I don't know why I just did that. I'm gonna disconnect. Um, I'm gonna do it this way because it'll be easier for me. But I'm gonna disconnect the VTX because if I turn it on, it's probably gonna interfere with the video that I'm making. So I'm just gonna kind of remove the power real quick. There we go. I'll put it back when I'm done. But for right now, I just wanna make sure everything else functions, okay? So here we go. Gonna get our, don't forget our smoke stopper. So we've got that ready. And I've got the radio uh, already um, done. And I don't have to worry about There we go. So you see that? So we're good there. And I've got the, this is the X9D Plus 2019 that I just did on video. Um, the only thing is I took my battery out. I don't know where I put it. Okay, I'm on the hunt for a battery here, guys. going okay and for those of you that have uh, been wanting to understand to get telemetry and stuff working this is, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that but to do that we're going to have to do a um, picture in picture with oh my god there okay there we go okay so first we got to get into beta flight right and uh, so that's not a problem so let me go ahead and do that real quick get the USB plugged in Okay, excellent. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, go ahead and get the radio on so that we can see the. Uh, Welcome to FTS. We can see it by. There we go. We bound. Uh, we are bound now. So let's go ahead and click connect. Let's reset, reset. Let's go to ports. And then what we know is that we did UART six, right? So I'm gonna go to UART six and I'm gonna tell it that we're using um, smart port. I'm gonna click save and reboot. Okay. Let's connect again and let's see where we're at. Okay. All right, now we're going to go to receiver, or let's go to configuration first. So it's got everything set up here, and I'm going to let the customer kind of play with this part if he wants. A little bit more than that, um, but uh, what we want to do is uh, everything looks good, actually. I'm not going to mess with this. What I am going to mess with is I'm going to go to receiver, and I'm going to tell it to run a TAER, which is right here, and I'm going to click save. Okay. And now we can see that the screen is blinking there um, on 15. It's going back and forth just a little bit. Uh, no, it actually looks good, but I want to go ahead and set um, uh, oops, menu page 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 page. You see how that um, see how that throttle says 987? It's all the way down. Well, that's not right, right? So we want to go ahead and find our throttle. Okay, and I'm gonna name it because I don't like that these things don't have names. So let me just go ahead and name it.
How many letters did they give me? I'll just put an L then. Okay. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to go to my minimum. And my minimum needs to be raised. So I'm going to raise that to... Uh, where am I at? There you go. See how that's moving it to 1,000? There we go. I want it at 1,000. There we go. And then I'm going to take it all the way to the maximum. It says 2011, and I want to go down. So maximum needs to go down to 2,000. Okay. And then we're going to go to the next one. Let's get exit. Everything else seems to be okay, except that the max and mins aren't right. You see how that is 987? Okay. So we want to go to um, our, our right here. I'm going to put, let me put roll. Or you can, yeah, roll. Uh, no, sorry. This would be our yaw. So let me just put yaw. Okay. Okay. Now, when we go to the minimum there, it's 987. We need to raise that to 1,000. Okay. Then we go to the maximum. We need to lower that to 2,000. There we go. Okay. And that looks good. So now let's go back. And now we've got our roll here. And so we're going to name that. Okay. And so on our roll, if you look, we're at 987. We need to raise that to 1,000. And if we go to max, we bring that down to 2,000. This is how you get all your stuff in range properly, OK? And then let's go now, all we have left is our pitch. So let's go down to our pitch. Name it pitch. Okay. And again, for our pitch, we're at 987. We need to raise it to 1,000. And then our maximum is at 2011, and then we need to lower that. Excellent. Now look at that. Everything reads 1,500, 1,000. That's perfect, which means we can now take this down to 1,005 and raise this to 2,000. And that means that we are going to be able to keep our range safe. Okay, now let's go to our modes. Remember how I told you that we had our switches set? So there's our arm, and I'm going to change this one. So that's auxiliary one, right? So our arm like this, I'm going to take, it, take this out, and I'm going to go to horizon. I'm going to add a range, I'm going to flip this switch, and I'm going to say horizon in third position. And then I'm going to say um, fail safe. We did that one too. There's fail safe. Then we're going to put fail safe here. And then we're going to go to our beeper. And we're going to put our beeper, same thing. Okay, and air mode uh, is going to be, uh, we're going to remove this. I'm going to put air mode right there. And that should be it. So let me click save which tells me that they have um, acro is all the time. So what I want to do is I want to go over to our configuration. I want to tell it, nope, I want to take this off. I'm going to take, uh, oh, they got air mode, there it is. So we're going to take that and we're going to save. Okay. And we're going to go back to our modes here. I'm going to say, okay, we got arm, we got angle. I don't want angle, why didn't I save it? Maybe I didn't save it. Okay, so if we're not in Horizon, then we'll be in Acro, and our failsafe is going to be here, and our beeper will be the next two. We'll click Save, okay, and then we have Air Mode, and we're going to add our range for Air Mode. It's going to be in the middle, and this can always be changed later, guys, okay? This is just the way I'm doing it. So now we can save, and let's see what we got. Okay, so we have everything here. And so if I go to my motors now, right, I just tell it, okay, guys, I want to see if this works. I'm going to go ahead and flip that. Let me see where we're at. Let's see where my setup is. Sorry, make sure everything's right. Go to our receiver. Okay, my roll. There you go. Make sure our quad is sitting still. It is. 
All right, that looks good. So our motors. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect here. Let me see what I've got now. I want to do my calibration. So all that's configured right. Okay, so when I say disconnect, I'm gonna pull this off here just to see. Let's see if we can make this. Oh, I see, god darn it. Forgot that they did that. Okay, so that's not how we're gonna run this here. Okay, so let me plug this back in. I was trying to figure out why I'm having that problem. So on mine, they have uh, that there's no motor, motor uh, running and so we're gonna do no we don't want that so we're gonna click save and I'm actually gonna speed the motor up just a little bit so let me go ahead and go to configuration and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell this I want it to go to like let's say I don't want to wait let's go to seven click save okay connect now if I go to motors now and I click this I should be able to I see there you go so all you have to do is make it like that and now you can see all right, so that's good. So that's done. Uh, everything else here looks done. The only thing left now is to get telemetry. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go in here, and I'm going to go to my uh, menu, and I hit page. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I'm going to go to page, hit menu quickly, then hit page, and go to telemetry over here. Sorry. There we go, telemetry. And I'm going to tell it to, um, uh, I want it to discover new sensors. Okay, now it's got the first two as default, right? So that's gonna be fine, except we wanna get the rest of them now. So what we wanna to do to fill the rest of this in uh, is we wanna to go to our, um, let me see where I'm at here. Let's go to our configuration page. Um, let's go to telemetry and click save. We wanna activate it, because we need telemetry to be activated on the board so it'll send data back and forth. Okay, and then what we wanna do is we want to go to our CLI. Okay, so I'm gonna tell it to stop discovering. Now I'll tell it to start discovering again. We're gonna to go to our CLI and we're gonna type in the commands and see where our telemetry is at. So let's see, set, I think it's TLM, right? Oops, set. Let's see what it says. Inverted is off. Let me see if I turn that on, if that's gonna get us where we want. There you go, see all that? All we had to do is turn the telemetry on, or the inversion on, and now we've got all our telemetry. All our battery, or VFast is our battery, that's what's going to the quad and all that kind of stuff. So now, now with that done, I'm gonna tell it to stop, stop discovering now, because they're all there, all right? So that's all you have to do. Now we've got it running in through the thing. So now when I go exit, okay, and I click page, I can see on my display, I wanna put on, on the top bar, I'm gonna put my, v, it's gonna be VFast, so just make sure you put VFast here. Okay, I don't have altitude, I'm not worried about that. But on screen one, I'm gonna adjust it and I can say I want numbers. Okay, and I'll, I'll whoops, I don't want that. So let's go, let's see here and I'm gonna put VFAS. Okay. No, oh my gosh, this takes forever. Okay, so VFAS right there, okay. And then I don't know how that's gonna look, so let me just go and click page, page, page. Okay, let me hold it down. See how it says VFAS right there, okay. So now if I wanted to go and see, and you can look at the top there, you see how it's up there? Cause that's on my bar right there, okay? So now if I wanted to say, um, okay, uh, let's click page, sorry, menu, and then page, 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 page. Uh, let's go to, oh my gosh, I should've gone the backwards way. Um, and then I don't care about altitude cause that's not gonna matter. So I want, and the next column, I'll do RSSI. Okay, and then the next column I'll do, um, let's see if we want to do like, uh, I can do current. Uh, no, let's do, oh, we'll do a timer. I don't know if that's right. Let me see. Yeah, so I've got my time of what day it is. I've got the RSSI strength and I've got my battery. Okay, so right now it's great. Um, if I want that. Now at the top there, you can see I've got my battery up there and then I've got all my RSSI stuff there. So there you go. Now you've got telemetry set, right? and everything else is configured. So I'm just gonna hot glue this in, and this is gonna be done, and let me show you now what we're looking at here. Okay, so look how cool this is. 
So look at that. So you've got all your telemetry. You've got your voltage there that's running in the quad. If you hold your page button down, you've got this. You can keep watching this. Time of day. And you can put a whole bunch of stuff on here if you want. Um, but that's, that's it. And then you can arm it and do whatever you wish to do. Everything's ready to go. I'm going to close it up now, and that'll be the end of it, okay? So let me go ahead and turn Receiver this Receiver still connected. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hold on. Just chill. Receiver out. still connected. Okay, let's turn that off. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, disconnect here, and I'm going to unplug this. Because don't forget, I need to also um, re-solder the video real quick. Let me go ahead and do that. There we go. That's done. I'm going to outline. Make sure. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. That's what. Good. So I'm going to outline that real quick and put this on the edge. It's right here. Just right here. And that's it. So now that's done. Turn that off. Pick this. Turn this around, just like that. There we go. And my screwdriver. There it is. up here just like that Get that cool and I'll keep the wires exactly where I want them And that's it. All right, guys. So there you go. That is the um, that is the way to get the uh, long range on here, and also get telemetry. And I know you've got F ports, so please don't chime in. I mean, like you can tell me about it, but I already know. So don't say, "Hey, why didn't you do it?" Uh, because I want to show two methods. And since I'm already giving, oh, you know what? I may put that on there. That actually, that actually does fit. So let me see. Hey, okay, why not? Put these back on, I guess. That works. Okay, so, uh, but I also wanted to show the way to do it if you're, no, you're not running F port. So there's a couple different methods. So there you go. Long range is hooked on. Everything's good. So I'm going to box this up, guys. All right, so listen, that's pretty much it. There you go. Pretty awesome. And I want to thank my customer for letting me do this for him. And thank you for shopping with us. And of course, if anybody else needs any help, please let me know. These videos are no charge. Uh, so if you ever need a video done, just let me know. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. Stay at home with your family. Enjoy the time. You never know how much time you have left. So please make the most of it. Fly safe. And I will see you soon. Peace.